Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And this video series is a review for my Math 21 Intro to Statistics class for their midterm. We are using the Sullivan Woodbury Interactive Statistics textbook, and we are covering chapters one through seven on this midterm review. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the addition rule and compute conditional probabilities. The probability that a registered voter is female is 0.5. So I can denote that probability of F equals 0.5. The probability that a registered voter is registered as an independent is 0.3. I can write that as probability of I equals 0.3. The probability that a registered voter is female and is registered as an independent is 0.2. That's the probability of F and I. And again, that is 0.2. Part A, find the probability that a registered voter is female or independent. This is telling me to use the addition rule. The probability that a voter is female or independent equals the probability a voter is female added to the probability a voter is independent and then we have to subtract the intersection that a voter is female and independent. We know these three probabilities to be 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0.2 and the computation gets us to 0.6 for that probability. We could also have done this problem using a Venn diagram. Let's take a look at that quickly. One circle for females, one circle for voters registered as independent. Their intersection is 0.2 because that's the probability that somebody is female and independent. To find this piece here, females that are not registered as independent, we subtract 0.5 for that whole circle, minus 0.2 where they intersect, that is 0.3. The same process for independent voters, 0.3 minus 0.2 is 0.1. And if we add up those three probabilities, we get 0.6. Part B, if a randomly selected voter is female, Find the probability that she is registered as an independent. If the voter is female, tells us that the condition being established is that the voter is female. Now we want to find the probability that she's independent. And from the formula, that's the probability that a voter is both independent and female divided by the probability of the given condition, which is female. The probability that a voter is both was 0.2. The probability a voter is female is 0.5. So we have 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.5, which is 0.4. I hope you find this video helpful. If you need to reach out to me, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, which is georgewoodbury.com. You can also get a copy of the midterm review off of my home page. Click on the link that says materials for my statistics students. You can also reach out to me on Twitter at George Woodbury.